Hi everybody, uh, we're just going to do a quick demo of how to install Taxtron T2 software for Mac. And uh, to do this, we're going to need a browser. And I happen to have uh, Firefox already open, and it's open to the home page for Taxtron. So from there, uh, we can go to the product downloads page. And once we're there, uh, we scroll down a little bit, we'll see two options. Uh, we have Taxtron T2 for corporations and Taxtron T2 professional for corporations. Uh, the first one is used for taxpayers who are uh, filing their own corporate returns. Uh, the latter is used for uh, basically if you're a tax professional and you're preparing for clients, uh, you'd use this one. And uh, today we're actually going to install the prof uh, professional software, but there's really no difference in terms of the installation between the two. Uh, so we click on download now and because we're on a Mac we're seeing the Mac options for downloads uh, if we were running on Windows in fact we would see uh, the Windows options highlighted instead so we click on download Taxtron T2 Pro 2013.2 which is the version we're doing today and we have the option to save the file or open it um, it's always a good idea, in fact, to save. Uh, that way, if you have to reinstall later, you have the installer uh, on your machine. So we can uh, click OK on that. And I have a pretty fast internet connection, so as we can see, that's actually already done. So we'll double click on that. That will open up the installer. And actually, I will minimize the browser window. We won't need it at this point. And uh, basically at this point, we can just double click on setup and that will start the installer. Uh, there's very little user intervention required uh, to do this. Basically, you click continue. Um, you'll have the license agreement, which if before we can continue past that, we have to agree to. And then basically uh, click on install. There's very little for the user to do. I, and uh, at this point, uh, we have to enter the uh, administrator password for the computer, but that's required with any installer. So we do that. It takes a few seconds. As you can see, the icon is shown up on the right-hand side here, now that it's installed. And we click on Close. And in fact, we'll minimize uh, this window as well. We don't need it anymore. And this one as well. Now, once we do that, we double click on the icon, and uh, it may take a few seconds to come uh, to show up uh, if it's the first time you've run the program, but in this case, it came uh, quite quickly, and uh, the program is up and running. And at this point, since it's the first time we've run the program, we would click on Create New Return, and then we would put in the details for the corporation, such as its name, the address, uh, province of return, company type. And the other required information, and we begin uh, preparing the return. It's just that simple. So that's uh, pretty much all there is. Hope you enjoyed.